Welcome to Riff XR. To move around, use the left joystick and click it into Sprint. Use the right joystick to turn. Let's go over the wrist menu system. To open the menu, press the X button on the MetaQuest controller or A button on Index. Look for the gear icon at the bottom. This is where you can adjust your locomotion settings, turn snap turn off, and keep sprinting always on if you want. Look at the top where it says audio. This is where you can adjust your sound settings and change your input mic and speaker. The graphics tab will let you change the gamma and anti-aliasing. You can also turn on character stats to display on the screen or your FPS. The experimental tab will let you open an in-game browser. We also have a preview of the upcoming full body tracking system. Let's go to the character tab at the bottom. This is where all your stats are displayed. You can also turn on in-game titles, which are unlockable with character progress and will display above your head. If you look at the bottom under the portrait, you can change your base avatar. These are unlockable in the game and will increase different stats like movement, bandwidth, and HP. Let's go to the Professions tab at the top under Character. This is where you can level up and unlock skills by gaining XP in different professions. You gain XP either by fighting PvE enemies, other players in PvP, or doing missions around Rift XR. You're not locked into a specific profession and you can mix and match with whatever you want. Once you have enough XP, go ahead and click Buy on the skill you want to unlock. The Appearance tab will let you change what you look like. You can upload your own custom avatar with our Unreal Engine SDK or choose from a variety of public models that have already been uploaded. You'll keep all the stats and equipment regardless of the avatar you choose here. Go to the Portal tab at the bottom of the menu. This is where you can travel to all the different worlds in Rift XR. At the top, you'll see Riff Original. These are our own created maps by our dev team. The Community Content tab has maps created by players. You can also sort the maps by different themes like PvP, PvE, Hangout, and AI. To make a private or public instance of a map, click on the Details icon, then Create Instance, and choose either Private or Public. The Avatar tab at the bottom is another way to change your appearance. Again, you can choose any avatar you want and your stats will remain the same. The Inventory tab will have all your unlockable weapons and armor. To equip an item, highlight it and click on Equip. If it's a sidearm, it'll be on your hip. Rifles and staffs will be on your back. You can grab it with the Grip button. It's on a toggle, so make sure not to click the grip again after picking it up. Shoot using the trigger button to reload press the A or X button on Quest and A on Index to drop the mag. Then put it in your stomach and take it out to reload the mag and continue shooting. The social tab will let you add friends, find nearby players, or invite people to a private party. The missions tab will display all your current quests. 